What is happening, y'all? Welcome, I'm back. So before we do anything, we got a level to spend. I use gems as components. I'm kind of curious to see what that actually does for me. Um, as for here, though, I have, what, 30 and I need 35. So still two more levels before I get to the next tier. Um, Increase the damage caused by Ice Barrage. Ice Piercing and Freezing. I mean, in theory, that should be better, because it's ice piercing and freezing. And this is just, let's see, so 360 lightning and 30 shocking damage in an area. 10 ice and 5 piercing per second for 15 seconds. So that's about 150, 175 added onto that. So, okay, the lightning is way stronger, and this is 500 damage. All right, so there's no reason to bother with that then. Um, debating if I want this thing. Like, on one hand, I feel like it would be useful, and the other I'm like, nah, I don't need that. Uh, but let's take Chakram up. We've been using that a lot. Your, all my other stuff is maxed, so... Healing Surge, I guess? I mean, I've been, been using Healing Surge quite a bit. Um, and we're here. Hop over to Holmstein and we're going after some ogres. I think I should pick these quests up while I'm here, or at least see what they are. There ain't no fish today, stranger. Ugh, can't even look a fish in the face anymore. Not ever since I met, I can remember when I I've outlived my Imelda. My nephew Thaddeus, a beast of the wild, scared her off. We were to wed by my peer. But I ain't seen her for days now. I'd search. I bet you. You better go on now. I will. Please find my nymph. Only one head by the mercy of the god. Fate does not seem to hold much stock in my expedition. But it leaves me a. I was leading an expedition to recover a pair of Arathi artifacts, known only as Shine and Sh. Texts say the artifacts are powerful, but the Etin have hit us hard. And it's said that the. I have not. I can promise you this much. My research has tracked them. Delok. It was a rad Delok already. Um, so that sounds interesting. Shine and Shadow. With a name like that, I'm going to guess that we're either talking about a pair of daggers, or fey blades, or maybe some chakrams. And I'm all about some new chakrams. Be fair, my current chakrams are pretty badass, so the Ettins are all over. Um, quests. Clear the pier. That's real easy. That's just right across here. And uh, what is the other one? That is over in Deloc. Okay. So let's put on. We're gonna put on the shamans. I am gonna go over and I'll clear that pier real fast. And then as I'm clearing the shamans, we'll jump on into the dungeon and try and get the things we're looking for. I think that is the, the best course of action. Just bang it all out. I wish they had added like a mount to this game. Just something to let me go a little bit quicker. Chakrams. Might be useful to have later. I guess that quest's done. 
little bit weird to think that all I had to do was just come over and kill a couple of mangy mongrels, but uh, maybe. You hit like my grandmother. My lovely bride. I am all dressed and prepared for our wedding. Thank you, stranger. Bless you. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to seal my bond with a ring and a kiss. Any last words for a crusty bachelor? Um. My nymph! She just fouled that disgusting etching with a glance. <laughs> Beauty kills even. Did you not see her wiggle away to the cliff overlooking the lake? Well, friend, if there's nothing else, I'm off. You're welcome to witness the event if you care to. What are you talking about? That was my nymph. Have you not heard tales of them? It's staring you right in the face. Well, I'm not going to stand here and suffer the unfounded insults you keep Poor saying. Poor guy. There goes nothing. That's not a limp, my guy. That is like a succubus or something. That was no nymph, stranger. I just... You see enough sadness in your life and... But you were good enough to save me from that beast. It's my wedding ring. Now, I don't mean nothing. It ain't much. Just a small charm that she had when we were wed. And then one of those two-headed bastards pried it off. Wouldn't dare follow the beasts there. But if you... Thank you. The Etten took to the shore as soon as I... One of those Etten... Hello there. So brief his term among our court. So virile in his living. He is fervored embodied. He is vitality. He rescued Princess Luna to take as his own. King of Strand. Prince of Please game, let me jump down. I think I can leap off this and then swim over there. That's one thing that like I find that Um, especially with a lot of older games, like being able to like freely navigate your environment via jumping, I'm like Game's gotta have it. Oh, damn. I think this is like the, the guy that stole his wife's ring. And also one of the Etten shamans at the same time. God damn, dude. Yeah, my. I would like back my rogue dodge, because this thing is ass. I know that's what just the that's one of the Etten shamans. And I wonder who the other guy was. Just the regular one that was hanging out. Give me your treasure. Um. Well, oh, finesse.
I will say the chain lightning effect doesn't work worth a shit. Like, it's supposed to propagate between enemies, but... I am not seeing that at all. What's this? And mirror. What is it? What's this a what is this quest? Finally. I'm Helic Cross. I'm leading an expedition to the land south of Dalantar. We need your Oh, no, aid. this is the this is the DLC. Sorry. Hard pass on that for now. problem right now it's just everything that's like around here is resistant to lightning so I'm not really getting like amazing damage out and this I should be like on top of this thing oh here we go I'll fight past them and make my way up to it Ass hammer. What was over here? Ballad's Oratory. Ooh. Um. I like more fire damage, but my, my veil thing is really good. I can break down that veil and make something out of it, maybe, but... Merchant just tucked away here? Well, look at what we... Something about... Good to meet you. The name is Raykil... Sagecraft goods. Yo! 15% chance to steal health. Venom damage. Armor. And the guy has a lot of good stuff. Dean. Purveyor of fine sage crafting. God, you got an ugly face.
great sword. Ooh. Kobolds and Mergham. I feel like every one of these shamans has some kind of dope ass weapon. They actually swim pretty fast. Nice change of pace after what I would say is a below average run speed. The other two are up top. But we also got to go back into uh, the Delok. So let's just run this way. We'll go on into there. We'll knock that quest out. Fuck off, bugger. This is the this is the fate place I came down into before. So it should be pretty easy to just like sprint through this and I can see the the objective. Bunch of enemies though. Thank you for that. That's that's fun. Oh my god. Bro. That's another one I just came up on. Mm. Nope, nope, nope. Gotta use the chakrams. Maybe I should have kept ice. God, dude, Blink sucks ass. Like, Mark of Flame is doing a lot of damage. Ah, it is daggers. Not that good, though. Only 65. Physical piercing, 12 fire damage during daytime, 7 burning during daytime. Oh, and ice at night? That's kind of cool, though. Split of uh, fire damage and ice damage. What though? Hang on to those, break them down when I'm a high level. Probably get some really nice mats out of them. Or I'll just turn them into the guy and get some kind of quest reward. Not exactly like I'm playing for daggers anymore. Like, that hits multiple enemies. You're telling me my chain lightning. But these guys are next to each other. Doesn't propagate worth a shit. Oh, go away. Go away. What is that? There's a marked...
charm that I could use? Could I like keep that and just not tell him about it? I need to go one at and over here. Um, damn, that's a far one. I think. Wait, I think I can go there via water. Might be able to just swim my way over. And I know respecking gets more and more expensive as time goes on, but maybe I should, um... I think I maybe go, uh... Abandon the, the lightning route for now. And go for fire and ice instead, because... Honestly, the lightning's kind of underwhelming. Like... What is this? Is it like, is this like a boss camp or something? Just a war priest. Oh my god. No. 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 Thank you. Oh, now this is cheeky. To be fair, I could do the same thing if I had a bow. God, this guy is so strong. Oh god. Apparently I'm not the only one with cheeky magical abilities. But now that you're out in the water. Ooh boy. All that work for a 27 damage. Staff. Ass. Oh, this is level 16. Oh. Well, I guess we're going to Sagecraft more. Um. Boop, boop. I don't get lightning for a while. Um. Delay attacks for the chakram. All burning damage increased by 20%. Let's get that for now. That lifts people up. Oh, I like that. The jump back. Probably be really useful. Use it to like knock up a bear. Oh yeah, that's good. And I can delay it at any point in the combo. Yep, I'm gonna get along with that ability. This is one of the last items I need. God 
dude. It's the, the fucking big derpy ones that just run and jump on you. No! Oh my god, are you kidding me, dude? What is my last save? It's probably ages ago. Oh my god, it's all the way back here. Bro, oh no! Ugh. So that's after all the cheekiness I did with killing the, uh... Let me go, so I gotta do this. Damn it. I mean, it's probably, I don't know. Lightning might be a lot better later too, because I know these guys, they have uh Ow, stop that shit. Oh my God, bro. No, not like this. a shine and shadow? I hope the Templars are going to think me a fool. How am I to return to them with these? When I return to Odessa, all they will see is how much I lost for how little I recovered. But I suppose that you are right. Perhaps there might be some hidden value to these after all. Thank you for your help. Thousand gold? Yeah. Dude. Oh wait, is he like down in a basement? Yeah. You found it after all. But I have a few coins left. How much XP did I get for those? I figured I would have gotten a nice chunk, but it seems like Quest XP is... Oh, no, it's pretty good. Alright, so I think what we're gonna do... Um, I need... Let's go here. So we're still gonna finish up these Etons and whatnot, but since we're, like, kind of getting, getting deeper into uh, playing a mage... And whatnot. I want to. I'm gonna fate weave and respec. I'm gonna try and uh, see how ice feels as opposed to the chain lightning. So I know the tempest thing is good, but I also have. Uh, I'll have meteor at late game, and that's a way better AoE than tempest, I think. Seven thousand. Ten thousand next time. Um, and then I had um, hidden treasures and then just sagecraft. Look at that. Oh shit, no, I need to have five points spent if I'm not doing lightning. Um, scepters, I guess we're doing two points in the staff. Like five there. Mark of Flames badass. Chakra mastery. Do that. And then the final point I have. Um. Some next level on this damage over time effects. Sure, we'll get that. Need 
again. All right. So we're all set. Respect. We get a feel for how the ice barrage works. Because, I mean, the, the chain lightning... Well, for starters, it's not really chaining much. Like, occasionally I see it propagate, but not usually. I feel like everything I am fighting is just like, oh, I'm partially immune to that. Oh, I'm, I'm also immune to that. And I'm like, who who actually takes damage from this damn ability? So maybe I will be better. Either way, let's wrap up here. Uh, I'm going to finish off these ogres, but pretty, pretty good run knocking out most of the stuff in this area. So either way, we'll wrap up here and I'll catch you all soon enough with more.